Hello everyone, and today this is going to be my second video on Linux, and in this case we are going to be doing a video about game performance, where we are using the stock Fedora kernel, and a optimized kernel, and we'll see if that does actually give a performance benefit to gaming. And in this case we're starting off with Cyberpunk here, starting off using the um, Cache OS optimized kernel, and we'll see if its performance is better or worse than the stock kernel. And Now, as you can see, we got a pretty decent performance. You know, an average of 64, that's definitely a playable FPS if you're playing a modern PC game. Now we'll switch over here in a moment to the second run here, and this run was actually done without recording. And you'll notice that it is a few FPS higher, fair enough, the overall the minimum and maximum FPS has, you know, stayed relatively the same, but the average FPS is a few frames higher, and that's, that's nice to see that, okay, that's a very playable frame rate of 70, and again, this is without recording, so obviously recording has a, a little bit of a performance impact, but that's not surprising, that is pretty typical when you record a video, and yeah. Also these are all using the same preset, I made sure I'm always using the Ray Tracing Ultra preset here for Cyberpunk, and on our second um, uh, run here without recording, again, 70 FPS, a very capable or very playable number, and it also, you know, the FPS is high and low, also very good. Same preset, all of this is at 256 by 1440, because again, 1080p is still the standard, but 1440p is coming into more of a common FPS. Also, one thing is to disregard the OS and OS version. Those are purely spoofed by Proton to make sure that these Windows games are happy that they are running on Windows even though they're not. Now here is our second recorded run, which is on the stock Fedora kernel, here again on Cyberpunk 2077, with the Ray Tracing Ultra preset. And we will see how the stock kernel does perform compared to the Cache OS modified Fedora kernel that is supposed to optimize the kernel.
So here, after the run using the stock Fedora kernel, you can see our FPS is slightly lower, but within a very playable number. And again, it is you know, slightly lower than the Cache OS optimized kernel, but a very playable number. And here with our first run without recording, it is, again, higher than when I was recording, but still slightly less than the optimized kernel. And it is a very playable frame rate. It is a very acceptable frame rate. And I wouldn't mind playing the game at this FPS, considering I'm using Ray Tracing Ultra on a almost four-year-old graphics card now. Very, very playable. And our second run here, without recording, this is, again, slightly slower than the optimized Cache OS kernel, but by half an FPS, one FPS, it is a very good playable FPS, again 1440p, and overall, I'm happy with this number. Now let's jump over onto our next game. Now here we are again, back on the Cache OS optimized kernel, but this time this is with Counter-Strike 2. And as you can see, I am using the high preset, and we are going to be using a community-made FPS benchmarking map. Again, I have tried this a couple of times and it is very consistent with the FPS. It's a very good testing map. I'll have a link down in the description below and we'll see how good the modified Cache OS optimized kernel is compared to the stock Fedora, Fedora kernel after this. Let's roll. So, here we go again, with a very high and playable FPS, yet yeah, it is slightly lower than if not recording, and um, as you can see here, these numbers are quite high, very playable, and I would be happy playing Counter-Strike 2 of them, even though maybe an eSports professional would be happy with these FPS numbers, they'll just set the settings all the way to low, but hey, I, I like the graphics of this, and they are very playable FPS. So here on our first run, uh, without recording, a very high FPS, significant jump over using recording, but again, an FPS I'm more than capable of playing with and very happy with. And then we'll swap over here to the second run without recording. Again, within margin of error of the first run. Very high FPS, again, I'm happy to play with. And yeah, this is a great frame rate I'm happy to play with. And let's swap over to using the stock Fedora kernel and see how the FPS stacks up. So here we are on the stock vanilla Fedora kernel and we'll see how good the FPS compares to the Cache OS optimized kernel. I can already tell this looks like it's going to be very similar if not almost the same. Come on, come on, chop chop!
Let's roll. So here we are after the run on the stock Fedora kernel. And as we can see, the uh, FPS is slightly higher actually than when I recorded using the modified Cache OS kernel. But it is so close, I would put this within a range of margin of error. And honestly, it is a number that is still, again, very playable. In fact, it's actually higher, so I'm just putting it as a margin of error. Now, here with our first run, with, our, uh, with the stock kernel, it is actually slightly less than using the modified Cache OS kernel. Again, it is 10 FPS off, but because of how CPU intensive this game is and how high the FPS is, I will put this in a range of margin of error. It is slightly less than that using the modified Cache OS kernel, but again, these are all playable frame rates all around. And going over to our second run uh, with the stock kernel. Again, it is very close to the first run with the unmodified kernel. And it is, again, slightly less than using Cache OS. But, hey, it is high playable FPS. And because this game, again, like I said before, varies so much when you have such a high FPS. I would say that it is more or less just a case of within margin of error. So, at the end of the day here, what have we learned? Is using the Cache OS modified kernel a performance booster? Yes and no. Um, in terms of game performance, it is so close to using the stock kernel. I honestly cannot say it is worth your time to go out and install the Cache OS modified kernel because it is so so close to using the stock kernel if not in some cases apparently worse like I said margin of error it is so close it's not even worth doing it and I would say was this a waste of time for you watching this video possibly did you learn something maybe was this a waste of time for me absolutely I have spent hours doing this and trying to get everything set up right and making sure I didn't screw anything up and at the end of the day, I'm like, well, I've got to ship a video. Because I've spent so long trying to work on this, I've got to ship it. So anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Please like and subscribe uh, if you haven't already. And uh, again, there is going to be definitely more Linux content coming in the future. But until then, there's probably some other videos in between. Who knows? But yeah. Bye.